Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain to you how you can schedule a SAP GUI script file within the Windows task scheduler to basically schedule the execution of a SAP GUI script file and therefore you don't have to manually execute your SAP GUI script file to basically export SAP data into Excel and therefore here right now I have prepared one SAP GUI script file and what does this file basically do so it logs into the SAP system opens up the data browser, so the transaction S is 16, entering the table demo flight and a selection criteria LH for Lufthansa and then exporting the data into Excel. So yeah, uh, let's show you what this file does. So therefore I'm logging off from the SAP system and here I have the script six file prepared. So I double click to this. And then you see logging into the SAP system and then exporting the SAP data into Excel. Here I'm closing Excel. I'm logging off from the SAP system right now. And here in Notepad, we can see what this code basically does. So here you maybe are, you, you are familiar with this code basically or because I have already prepared one video how you can automatically log into the SAP system using SAP GUI script. So this is the code. Here yeah, I'm using the other platform trial 1909. Of course, there are newer version for ABAP Cloud you, you can or should use, but here I'm using still the, the um, outdated version, of course. And then I have recorded um, these parts. So I have entered the table demo flight, entered my selection criteria LH, and then I executed the selection and I exported the SAP data into Excel. And then I put those two scripts basically together and now it works. So this is one basically procedure that you can also follow if you would like to build your own SAP GUI scripts if you would like to put those scripts together. And yeah, basically how you can schedule this as a big script in the Windows task scheduler. What I can highly recommend, what I have done is before schedule your SAP GUI script with a task scheduler to manually execute your SAP GUI script because if your SAP GUI script would not work if you manually execute it then it won't work also in the Windows task scheduler so this is really important so follow those steps and then it will work so here we have our script then I open up the Windows task scheduler so what you do to just type in within the Windows search task schedule, then this will open up. And here right now we would like to include one um, additional task. Here you see also your existing task schedule in the task scheduler. There are some background tasks um, for OneDrive, whatever. And here you have some kind of steps how you can add an additional task. Here within the task scheduler library within a tree structure, right click and then choose create basic task or uh, here right now you can right click and then create basic task or within here within the actions you can also click on create basic task i think a few steps that you can use so here right now once you've clicked there then this window will open up and here you can specify one name and one description. In my case, because it's just a demo purpose, I just type in test. I recommend that you um, yeah, specify one unique and one name that identifies your task that you can follow. Maybe SAP GUI script, export, purchase data, whatever you like. Just put a small description if needed then click on next. Here right now you can specify when do you want the task to start. So daily, weekly, monthly at a specific time when a computer starts, whatever you like. So it just really depends um, what action you have. But basically I would like to put it daily because I would like to export my data daily. So then you choose on next. And then here you can basically enter your starting point. So when is the first time your 
has a big script should be executed in my case um, because i would uh, like to manually start the task within the task schedule i just put put the hour recur every uh, one day so that's why it's daily then choose next and then here it's important within the action that you choose start a program because that's basically what what we need what we want we would like to start a vbs file or a sap script file so choose this then click on next again here within program script you have to specify the path for your sap GUI script file so that file should be executed within task editor so here i have uh, entered the path if needed you can also add some arguments a start in but that's for my case not needed so i choose also next here you have some kind of summary and then you choose on finish and then here right now you see that you have um, your task has been added to the list and it will be executed at the starting point here right now because we don't want to wait one hour uh, i right click and then i choose run to show you basically what also the task scheduler does so i click on run and then in the background the task scheduler does what what uh, um, what you would do manually so instead of waiting one hour i have yeah triggered it manually but you don't have to trigger it manually but i don't want to wait one hour to see what the task scheduler does so and basically that's all we need so that's basically how you can add an SAP GUI script file within the task scheduler. You have to be aware that um, depending on your script, um, your SAP logon has to be opened up. Maybe depending on your script, your SAP um, GUI, so you have to be logged into your SAP system. So that's important. But um, yeah, as mentioned, if your SAP GUI script file won't work if you execute it manually, then it won't also work within the task scheduler. But it, if it will work manually, then it will also work within a task scheduler. So if you have any questions left, please put them in the comment sections. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel to not miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.